Hey guys, good morning, Shop Muffin. Guys, I thought we'd do a video today of uh, food items I bought in bulk on Amazon. Things I like a lot that I buy large quantities and I buy them repeatedly. I thought it might be kind of interesting. Having a little trouble right now. I was watching a lot of Norm MacDonald videos today because he passed away. And now he's got his voice in my head. So I hope <laughs> you know it's going to be a difficult video when the guy making the video said he's got somebody's voice in his head. Oh, uh, well, we'll start over. Guys, good morning. It's Rob Moffat. We're going to be making video this morning on the, the things I've purchased on Amazon over the years, bulk food items, things I like so much I bought it repeatedly and bought in large amounts. And I thought it might be kind of interesting. Let's get started. The first one is blueberries. I buy these blue blueberries, they're dried, and I have some every evening. I take about two tablespoonfuls and put in a, a little jar. And then I next evening, 24 hours later, I mix it up with other ingredients to make a little smoothie. And it's one of the best things I've purchased. I think it's really good for my health. It's a uh, I've purchased eight times, so you can tell I like this item. And I haven't been able to find it at a better price other places. Some of the things I'm going to, we're going to talk about, you want to double check to see where you can find it cheaper. Because often you can, but I haven't found it any cheaper than this. Next one is going to be uh, some rapid dry yeast. You know, because of the COVID, everybody is doing... They bake in their own bread deal. And over the years, I've baked my own bread and I used different bread yeast. And this is the best one I found. Um, I used the one with the little chef hat. I forgot the name of it. And the second time I used it, it was, I didn't get satisfactory results. I've been getting excellent results with this yeast. It's very inexpensive compared I shouldn't say it's, it's very inexpensive, but but it's it's competitively priced low uh, compared to the other brands of yeast. Um, so yeah, that's another one. Next one is kind of a surprise. I've been reading Dr. Gregor on on YouTube. He has a channel and he also has stuff on a blog, and he talks about amla powder. This is the amla powder I buy. If you read the studies, this stuff will cure everything. I mean, you can see around corners. You can <laughs> people use this to uh, get the color back in their hair and make it grow back. And I mean, uh, I put this in my little uh, shake every evening, about a, a half or about a third of a teaspoon every evening. It's one of the uh, foods or, or spices. It's a, it's a dried gooseberry, and it has a lot of antioxidants. It's, it's, it's very powerful and has a lot of interesting uh, studies to indicate that it's very healthy for you. The problem I have with it, it comes from India, and they're not world known for their high quality, uh, quality control. They're not synonymous, unfortunately. Um, however, uh, the government has been testing some of the substances like this that are coming from India, and they haven't found any uh, high levels of contaminants or heavy metals. So, and Dr. Gregor said that particularly the amla power that when it was being tested, they haven't come across. There are some medicinal drugs and herbs and supplements that come from India where people were actually adding uh, heavy metals as a component because it uh, made the body good. It had like, a, you know, a, it was like Brando. Brando has electrolytes. So yeah, they were saying that because of the heavy metals that we're making their, their supplements better. But Amla powder, I buy it in this bag and I just use like a small third of a teaspoon every evening and it lasts forever. The next ingredient is onion granulated. Uh, it's just plain old Badia. You can get this in the grocery store. I started buying it on Amazon because they would deliver. And because of the COVID, I had stopped going to a lot of stores. 
and was just utilizing whatever places would deliver. And this is, I've tried different powders for the onion, and this is an excellent choice. It's not too high, it's not too low as far as the price goes. If you guys in the comments can, if you find something that you like even better, that's a lower price, and it's something that you can purchase online. I know there's always stores in the neighborhood that have sales and you can get stuff that's one third the price, but if you could find something that is available, commonly available, and it's less price, uh, and it's also a good quality, go ahead and leave it in the comments. But I use this all the time. Next one, I'm not going to talk about Orrington Farms because the beef broth, because it's not something I really buy in bulk. I just get a can of that now and then. And actually, the prices are usually cheaper in the store. Um, next one is, you're going to get tired of me saying next one, aren't you? I better stop it. I'm hearing Norm McDonald's voice in my head now. You know, they're going to get tired of you talking like that. Okay. These are great to make some pasta with a clam sauce or add to noodles or all sorts of things. They're very handy. They're not real cheap, um, but they're not super expensive either. They're wild caught. And of course, that just could mean they're, they're wild caught and the mud flat next to the pharmaceutical plant, you know, <laughs> you don't know what that means. It just means they weren't grown on a farm. Uh, and so, but uh, I've purchased these several times. I've been pretty happy. McCormick's, I have only in the last year or so started using McCormick's and Italian seasoning. And I just don't know where Italian seasoning was all my life. I love, and, and the more I've been reading about Italian seasoning, uh, all of the different herbs and spices that are in Italian seasoning, I'm, I'm trying to find ways to get it in my diet more often. So I'm getting ready to order this again. I use McCormick's Italian seasoning all the time. It's a wonderful flavor, very good aroma and good ingredients and uh, excellent value. It, it jazzes up all sorts of food. So it's, it's a really welcome addition to my, my, my palate and my cooking uh, repertoire. Did I just say repertoire? Those blueberries, they're really, they're really helping. Um, the next one is something that I, just thought I'd give it a shot. I'd never had it before. And I don't know if I'm going to reorder. Not because it doesn't taste good, because I don't think it's that healthy for me. And it's delicious. You can eat it cold or you can eat it hot. You can mix it up with other things. And it's just potatoes and beef and some flavoring. Um, a lot of salt. Um, my blood pressure goes up a little bit when I start eating it. But... It's, it's not like super tasty. I mean, you don't run home to have this, but, but something that you eat out of a can, it's fairly decent. Um, so yeah, Mary Kitchen corned beef hash, eight pack. That was a good, good uh, eight cans. Like I said, it makes a good little breakfast with eggs and potatoes and other stuff. The next one is something that my regular subscribers and viewers are very familiar with uh, 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 uh. the the famous can fish used to be able to get these at dollar can at the dollar store 15 ounces i love these things um i put them in the panini grill with a little italian dressing and some spices and I go to town on them. Um, you can use them for so many things, but uh, they're very high uh, in protein, very low cost compared to any other protein animal food source you can buy. Unfortunately, in the last few years, a lot of things I eat or have eaten that were good for uh, protein have been discovered by the keto food people, the keto diet people. They're taking over and making all the things I used to eat uh, go up in price. 
so uh, before nobody would eat this thing but me and and people who had pets. <laughs> uh, okay, prisoners. But uh, other than that, the the other canned food that I like, canned seafood, is this one. It's kind of expensive. But here's the deal. Oop. Now, this is quite expensive. You, you get 12 cans, but I don't buy this on Amazon if I can find it cheaper. Um, I, I know that I told you that we'd be just looking at stuff that people deliver online, but you can also get this at Walmart and they'll deliver online and they have it for $3 a can. So this is like four something a can. So if you're going to buy 12 or 24 cans, you just saved uh, 20 to $30 by buying your stuff someplace else. So, but it's an excellent product. Um, and it actually has a better protein ratio than the canned mackerel. Um, and it's caught here in the U.S. by U.S. fishermen, where the canned mackerel is caught by our, our friends in, in China. Though I would prefer to buy the salmon from Alaska and U.S. fishermen if I could. The next one is elderberries. There isn't a single one of you out there that buy elderberries. But let me tell you, before COVID hit, I used elderberries all the time for the reduction of uh, flu and cold. It's very easy to make elderberry syrup or elderberry juices or wines or other food products. But I basically use my elderberries to make a, a syrup or a tea. That way, whenever I felt like a cold was coming on, I would take some. And it comes in a, uh, a large bag that it's a pound bag and you put it in the freezer and then just take it out as you need it. Anytime I felt like cold was coming on, I would make some syrup or a uh, just a tea with it. And it was, was very helpful. There's plenty of information online about elderberries, but Amazon was one of the better places. You can't find it at the regular stores. The next food item has kind of an unfortunate food name. I told people I was eating this and they kind of made fun of me. I haven't reordered these recently. I think because it's not that these taste bad. In fact, they're kind of a neutral taste and they have a good texture. The thing of it is I started buying the soy sausages at Walmart, the tofurkey sausages that are Italian. And they're, they're a much better flavor and I can use them in more foods where this has sort of a, uh, just an, kind of an odd look to them. And, but they're, they're a well-made, uh, good quality soy product. I just found that other soy products that may not be as good as this um, was something I tended to enjoy eating more. Um, but this is something I've purchased uh, frequently in the past. And it's a good source of protein. It's the, the treatment of it and the production is, is very minimal. It's, it's not something that's gone through a lot of processing and they use the entire soybean. But uh, that's another product you don't find too many places and Amazon was one of the few places. The next one is onions. We've already covered onion powder, but I like onions. These particular onions, I buy onions that are chopped like this from the Mormons LDS, and they're a lot more brown and tan, and they don't have as good a fresh flavor as these do, although these are more expensive. But uh, I find that I can go through these very quickly. Um, they come in a big bag, and uh, I'll put a handful in just about everything. They're, they're very handy. Onions go good with almost everything. <laughs> So yeah, you, you, can, you can go through a lot of onions this way, but they're very high quality. I like these quite a bit. This is, other than the blueberries, the next one is one I use probably more than any other of the food items. And it's my old friend, parsley. It's another one I only started eating late in life. 
I put this in the freezer and I keep a small amount in a large container in the cupboard. And as it's emptied, I fill it up again from the bag in the freezer. And it lasts me quite a long time. But this way, I always have parsley flakes on hand. And I find I use it in a lot of my cooking. I, there's, the day doesn't go by, I don't use some parsley, especially if I'm using any, uh, any garlic and so on. So yeah, that, that's one of the, the big things I buy all the time. I was going to show you a couple of things I bought that I didn't like, but I thought, nah, who's got time for that? Here's one that a lot of people uh, don't use. And I made a video the other day where I was pretending that it was uh, repulsive when I was taking it, but actually I was using uh, peanut butter. <laughs> and if you use peanut butter on a spoon and you put the peanut butter in your mouth, and then you put this on the spoon, you don't taste this at all because if peanut butter coats your mouth and your tongue, you don't taste anything other than peanut butter. So this is an excellent way to get uh, your vitamin A, uh, your EPA, your DHA. It's uh, relatively low cost, you know, a couple of spoonfuls a day. It's a great way to raise your vitamin D, um, your omega-3 oils. It's, it's just an excellent all-around product. I recommend it highly. Um, and it's a good price. I'm going to be buying some more. This is one I had forgotten about. It's gelatin. I was experimenting making my own jello with different fruit juices from things I'd forged. And this was an, a very inexpensive way to make it because if you buy unflavored gelatin, it's not too cheap. For this, you could make a lot of gelatin and it's uh, about 21 bucks, but still you get a lot of servings from this and it's a very high quality. Um, so if you, if you have an orchard or you're, you have access to some place that there's a lot of berries or fruits where you can use the juice to make your own jellos, um, this is uh, an excellent way to, to experiment and have some fun in your cooking. Here's another one that people don't use very often. It's, it's molasses. Now, it sounds like something that you would probably never use, but once I started experimenting with it, I found that that it was uh, fun to, to add it to things. For instance, I started adding it to my cornbread, just a spoonful. I put a spoonful of molasses with some peanut butter and some minced carrots and other items and changes the cornbread completely. Um, and the, the molasses has a nice flavor and it gives a nice dark color. So it just creates a whole different food uh, very inexpensively too. It lasts forever. Don't, you don't want to keep this in your cupboard if it's kind of warm because after a while it will begin growing mold. Um, you want to keep it in your refrigerator. If you live warm, you may place it like I do. And you won't find out easily either because it, <laughs> you have to, <laughs> to look down in there. Um, here's one that I like is the, the ginger powder. I've started using ginger every day. What I do is I add some to my tea and after the tea is done, I just pour more water in a glass with some ice cubes and continue to get the, the powder ginger flavor into the water and increase the amount of ginger I'm taking. So I think it's good for your health. I hope it is. You can buy little bottles in the store that are quite expensive. I just prefer to buy the large bulk bags and fill up the bottles. You can also grow ginger easily um, if you have relatively warm area and you can buy the, the tubers in the store and they'll sprout. Same thing with turmeric. Last one was, we talked about the parsley. If I'm having garlic, I always have parsley. And if I have garlic, a lot of times I don't have the fresh garlic on hand. I just use the granulated garlic. garlic and this is one of the better ones. I've been very happy with this brand. And it has, it's very inexpensive compared to the smaller jars you buy. And it's got a good flavor, a good aroma, and all around. It's a good, it's a good deal for garlic. That's another thing that's very healthy for you, supposedly. Well, fine. When I grew up, people ate oleo margarine and it was healthy for you. Now you can't find it in the stores. Uh, if you sell it, the United Nations will come after you, you know, like you now. So yeah. Supposedly, garlic is very good for you. So, go, guys, this is my, what, 18 or 19 different things I buy in bulk at the store uh, on Amazon. But I always check, I always check to see 
if there aren't cheaper prices, like here's the, the, the salmon. It's like four twenty five a can on Amazon right now, but you can get it for two ninety one at Rite Aid or at Walmart, which also delivers for two ninety seven, and it's the same protein calorie profile as the other one from Bumblebee, so on Sarkis. So, guys, that was something I thought you might be interested in: the different things I buy in bulk at Amazon, and might give you some ideas about different foods you could buy in bulk and uh, stock up for uh, supplies and so on. Um, and it was it was an interesting video for me to do and hope you enjoyed it. Come back, I put new videos every week, been doing for 14 years, got over a thousand videos. And like I said, I do, do different videos on all sorts of subjects every single week. All right, guys, so I think it's time to go, go cook something. I'm just an old chunk of coal, but I think I would like to have some macaroni and cheese. All right, guys, take care. See you out there.